Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you how to import with Amulet Editor. Now as you can see I have a few versions right here. I got dot schematics. These are actually from version 1.12.2 that were created with MC Edit. I'm going to show you how to import these into Bedrock and Java. Do note Amulet Editor is still in beta. That means that right at this current time, it does not import pictures, frames, armor stands, or mobs, and some other types of entities as well. So if you have a world that has all that info in a dot schematic or construction or MC structure, Amulet will not import that info. Also on top of it, if you ever do convert uh, from Java to Bedrock, like the world itself, Anything that sits in chess will be removed as well. So this is just one of the caps of Amulet at this current time. I'm sure it'll all be worked out eventually. All right, so now that's out of the way, I have a couple of versions here. This one is dot .construction. This is what you use on Java. You can also use it on Bedrock as well. MC structure is for Bedrock. But uh, I will have on my site both versions for all the newer maps now. Um, I, I won't even bother with schematics anymore. This is an older file that's no longer really supported. So just giving you a heads up that if you do have schematics and you're trying to export builds to a dot schematic, they are just not going to work right now. Um, it's best to just do construction and MC structure. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and import to Java. I'm going to do the construction and one of these older maps right here. So let's go ahead and open up import to Java. All right, so the reason why I have loaded up this map is the fact that when you import a build into your world, you need to make sure that you have a nice flat location as best as possible, because when you do import it, you're gonna be removing a lot of um, a lot of blocks with air, and you're gonna actually have to do some terraforming eventually when you do import that build. So as you can see here, I do have a flat surface, so just be aware, that's the reason why I loaded this. All right, so we are going to import to Java. Let's go ahead and hit open world. Click on Java and find the world you want to import that build to. Uh, do note that you should be making backups because Emulet is still in beta and something could go wrong. So just keep that in mind. Always make a backup. It's a healthy thing to do anyway. So let's hit import. And let's click on 3D editor. The UI of this application can change in the future. Like I said, it is in somewhat beta. So that way, as an example, this bar in the bottom can be moved somewhere else. So just keep that in mind. Let's hit import. Uh, before I import this file, you can use the right click to move around. WASD keys to move forward, backwards. Space is up. Shift is down. So as you see, I have a fairly all right flat location. So let's go ahead and hit import. And I'm going to import the dot construction format first. So now I have the build. I'm going to use the right click to move myself. WASD keys move back a bit, space bar up. And yeah, I'll set it right about there. Now, since I clicked on the ground, I can move around. We have Y here. This is up. This should be left and right forward and backwards so let's move this building up let's move myself back a bit uh, let's move you down something like that uh, let's move you backwards a bit all right so we have paste air i am going to be pasting air because the fact that as you can see the landscape is not completely flat so therefore we do want to remove that which would mean you would have to terraform after so let's hit confirm so now it's injecting it into the world. So as you can see, the edges are being removed. Uh, this is what I mean. You're going to have to terraform around here. So just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and let's add another build. So let's go ahead, uh, select, go to import, import file, and let's import the Abdorian church. Let's click that. And 
Yeah, I guess we can import you here. By the way, you can move this thing around if you want, like to change locations, you can flip it. But I'm gonna leave it right where it is. So let's just move it up a bit, like so. We wanna paste with error, hit confirm. That's it, now it's in. Pretty simple. All right, so I'm going to save the world. You can go to File, Save, or you can hit Control S. That's it. Now we can close this world. Since I'm at it, let's do the Bedrock one as well. Import to Bedrock. Let's hit Open World. Same thing as before. Instead of clicking Java, let's go to Bedrock. Let's find that map. Here it is. Click on 3D Editor. Same as before. Now this is super flat, so everything's gonna be a lot easier here. Do note, this application isn't perfect. Have a look, there's chunks missing. So be aware, it does still have problems. So this is what I mean by making backups. As you can see, there's a bunch of empty chunks around. Just be aware of that. Let's hit import. Another thing to be aware is do not have your world open in Minecraft while you're trying to use Amulet Editor. You're going to cause a lot of problems. So definitely don't do that. Make sure your world is closed and you're sitting at the menu. So let's hit import. There's nothing out there really other than Amulet right now for this. So let's go to import MC structure instead of construction. Construction would work too, but let's go ahead and put you right here. All right, let's wait for it to load. Move around. Move you up. And I wanna move you back. All right, up a little bit higher. So you can see the ground right here. I might as well paste air too because there's nothing in this world. So let's go ahead and confirm. While I'm at it, let's hit import again. Let's import Pickgrove Manor. Right here. Also move it up. It's, yeah, it looks to be about the base right there. Let's move it farther back, right about there. And let's confirm. Control S to save. And now we can close this. All right, now since I've successfully added these into the Java edition and Bedrock, let's go ahead and open up Java first. All right, as you can see, we have the build in here. The other one is in here as well. There is some lighting issues. I think this is just due to the fact that it's 1.18.1 has lighting problems, but it could also be amulet that's caused it. Either way, you can just place a block on the ground and the light will be back. You should also be able to just remove a block. Yeah, see, so your light comes back. So you're going to be terraforming this area anyways, uh, just to kind of make it look nice and neat. But yeah, there's the build right there. The other one is here, kind of floating in the air a bit. So yeah, that one is done. Let's go ahead and check out Bedrock. All right, let's click on Import. There's the build. We are actually inside of it. So yeah, this is uh, the best way of doing this. Let's go have a look over here. And we have missing chunks where this is and where this is. So yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. It might be because of version differences. It's not perfect. But uh, yeah, you get the build inside of Bedrock as well. And this one is inside of Bedrock as well. So like what I was mentioning before, uh, entities not being saved. As you see, there's no item frame right there. There's no pictures there or any on the wall that's missing. This is the original version right here. As you see, there's pictures there and over here. So just be aware that this is still a beta version and does not copy over any type of entities yet. But I'm sure that will eventually change in the future. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.